I'm a primary school teacher. I'm not. Uh, I don't have a degree in any science, just a basic uh, knowledge. So I have been. Uh, I have. Uh, the more I learn, the more interested I get myself in into science, and I re start to realize how much there is in STEM subjects. And I want to. Uh, move this uh, my knowledge to my uh, pupils. So I want to tell the there are so many things. For example, if you think uh, chemistry. When I was young uh, at school, I was thinking, oh, chemistry, it's like that. So how I was taught, but I never thought. And now I learn more. I can. It's everywhere. Like chemistry really is everywhere, and you can do anything. And I tell that to kids. And I I I think I've uh, managed in my school in my class because. Uh, for example, we are we having these uh, alternative courses, and uh, when I had this uh, chemistry course, and so many people wanted to join, they wanted to come to alternative uh, chemistry class. That uh, it was uh, full. It was a uh, few weeks, and it was full. I have to make more courses in the future. How is there is going to be a gap in engineering, and especially in physics and uh, chemistry and mathematics. And also that happens in Finland, like biology and geography, they are quite, uh, also the girls are taking uh, biology and uh, geography and some also chemistry. But physics and mathematics, it's, uh, there is going to be a gap, also in engineering and especially girls in engineering and IT, ICT and any other technology, technology and uh, computers. Of course, teacher can and have to be a role model and the teacher must be aware of the gap. So they must be aware that the, what's going to happen in the future and what kind of uh, job opportunities there will be. So then they can help uh, students. If you think, okay, in 20 years there's a gap and especially girls are needed in IT and computers and engineering, you can help the girls to choose the STEM. Also, you have to make the STEM very interesting. Right now, they all, there is a, I think there is a kind of a breaking that's happening. It's not anymore teaching. It's not anymore that teachers saying and the kids are staying uh, still and uh, not saying anything just listening and it's more like more going that the like a student is an active uh, learner and a teacher is a counselor and giving uh, like tools how to how to reach the answers there's a, also the lifelong learning you can even if you are an adult you are 40 50 you can still learn and even change uh, the subject and change the work and the world is waiting for you and the future is bright, it's, there's nothing to be afraid. Mm -hmm.